Holly Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Tide Not Travelers. We left our home and jobs behind us and boarded a one-way flight. But the global pandemic caused us to rethink our travel plans. So we spent six months exploring Estonia. Now we're finally continuing our travels, taking a new route and exploring some of the Greek islands. Between us, we have visited 52 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. Hi from Santorini on our <laughs> second day of touring the main sites to see on the island. Today we're heading off to see an area called uh, Meravigli. <laughs> called Meravigli. <laughs> yeah, Meravigli, which we've been recommended to come and have a look at this because our accommodation hosts had their photo shoot here and they love it and they said it's beautiful and it's just up the road from where we're staying so we yeah, agreed not to check it out. Literally a five minute drive um, up the hill towards the caldera from uh, Vorvalu, beautiful little town that we're staying in and we're in Meravigli now Wow! and we've just walked <laughs> over and the view of the caldera here is absolutely spectacular. Yeah. So in terms of where we've come, we were in the northern part exploring Oya and we've come around to about halfway down the island but on the west hand side of the land. So our plan is to explore Meravigli and it's effectively joined to the main town of Thera so we're going to walk from here further south and explore Thera into the evening. Wow, the contrast between all the white buildings here and the ocean just blows me away every time. <laughs> Been in Santorini for a few days now and I'm still just wowed by it. Amazing. The view on the western side of Santorini is just spectacular. It's literally like a grandstand from a high up view that looks yeah. out across it's the volcano. As Kirsty touched on, the really, really stark contrast of the white and blue buildings against the dark volcanic rock. The volcano in the centre just looks spectacular and we've booked a trip and we're going to head over to the volcano on another day. There's supposed to be warm springs that you can swim in. So excited to do that. Although yesterday there was uh, an earthquake in Turkey, which obviously happened here as well. So we're hoping that that doesn't have a knock-on effect on the sea, but the trips are still running. So fingers crossed we'll be safe out <laughs> on a boat tomorrow. <laughs> It's actually 6.7 on the Richter scale yeah. and we were in our accommodation at the time in the morning. I thought I was about to pass out because I was dizzy initially <laughs> before realising that no, I was swaying because there was an earthquake. When the lampshade and everything starts moving you realise that's not you. <laughs> This is the volcano in the center. That's where we're going to be making the trip. And in a second, we're going to head down here and take a walk around that rock before then heading south from here on foot to Thera, which is the main town in Santorini.
imagine getting your morning exercise swim done in this pool? That would just be dreamy with this view, looking over the whole of the island, the volcano, this rock, the ocean. Oh, that's the kind of morning I could get up for. <laughs> Santorini used to be a classic cone-shaped volcano, obviously with everything being above sea level. So on the east side, it slopes off into the sea and as you come west it's very steep and then you've got a sudden drop off into the caldera. I read last night that apparently it's because I don't know how many years ago, thousands of years ago I think it said, I don't know the exact number, the volcano kind of just erupted and caved in on itself hence it's kind of fallen into the water now and looks this shape. <laughs> That's quite a stunning walk from Meraviglia around this rock. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, walking around um, a volcanic rock the day after an earthquake is a little bit scary, but I'm really glad we did it because this island is just so impressive. It blows my mind that this entire island is volcanic. The way it's done and how beautiful it looks and really clever of them to make everything white because the contrast. The nature side of it is, in, is, is just mind blowing and then with what the people have done to make it look so beautiful and picturesque. The two things together are just, yeah, you can see why it's all over Instagram. <laughs> so dramatic. Check out the views over the caldera. So we've got Thera behind us, and then the views over the caldera and the volcano in the center over our heads there. And then you can see Oya up in the north. Yeah, so we've got about a 25 minute walk uh, from here to get to Thera and it's like a two hour walk to get to Oya. Yeah, along the coastal path. Yeah, as you know we've already been there so we're okay, we just walk to Thera today. But we're going to do that hike another day. Yeah. the little sign 25 minute walk this way to Thera so beautiful and particularly in Oya and Meravigli where we are now there's all these beautiful terraced apartments with their own private area most of them have sun lounges and just a little swimming pool really want to stay in one <laughs> beautiful church here and we're coming around to this spectacular view
absolutely spectacular this footpath and the best part of it is that you have sea to the left and sea to the right it's never bad when you're walking along a footpath where you're surrounded by sea both sides beautiful hi kitty <laughs> he just showed me that he's a boy cat. <laughs> <laughs> what a great view this kitty has over here. Good, good spot. It's a cat's life, it really is. He's just sat here with this view in the background. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a silly cat. He knows where it's at. funny everything I do I just walk along and then I just notice like oh being stared at it's just gonna follow me now for a bit hey kitty <laughs> just looked up and realized he was staring at me for ages <laughs> it's unnerving you know you get that feeling you're being watched and then you just peek over and then in a bush there's just a little kitty cat staring at you yeah, see he's he's lagging back there now he's pretending because he knows I cottoned onto him So you can see all the way to the north of the island where we've come from. Oya, just peeking around the corner there. That big rock, I'm not sure what it's called off the top of my head, but we've walked around there earlier. Walked all the way along this path, this coastal path from Merovigli, and we're almost at Thera. See, I told you, stealthy cat's back. <laughs> He's been following us for ages. I don't know why I didn't have any food for him. Or her. But yeah, every now and then, lags like, that's it, hiding behind the motorbike. I can see you, kitty. I can see him. So cute. <laughs> Check out this restaurant. What a place to have dinner that is. This looks like a great place to have a drink and sundowners. <laughs> it is take your pick though. This one is particularly spectacular, but there are so many to choose from. Yeah, the whole way along. It's kind of like sport for choice and don't know where to go. We're hoping when we get to Thera, we can find somewhere as beautiful as this. Yeah. <laughs> Getting pretty hungry, so I think we'll pick somewhere. Thera and as you go a little bit further down here is where we're going to get the boat from tomorrow over to the volcano. We've walked all the way from up here along this path this is where we are now and Thera is just down here we're going to have to walk down this path tomorrow to the old harbour where we're going to get a boat across to the volcano. Here's a more zoomed out map today we've started here in Merovigli we've driven up from Vorvalu where we're staying we've walked around this cape and today we've made our way along the coast down to Thera. It looks like as well as the main zigzag path all the way down to the old harbour there is a cable car as well. At the moment it doesn't look like it's in operation but I guess we'll find out tomorrow when we head over to the volcano. the 
the donkeys. They're little bells. Ding, ding, ding. So cute the way they walk in a little train. Because they have to, they're joined together. <laughs> place for shopping. Definitely if you want jewellery or shoes or clothes, they have it all. And it's all just so beautifully displayed in these cute little white streets with cobblestones. Shopping paradise. It is a little bit quieter than usual, obviously given what's happened this year. Um, so you can see there's a few shutters down, but there is still a lot to see. There is still a lot open and there's lots of little streets every which way you look. They all dive off left and right. Um, I quite like that it's quiet. It's plenty. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, gives you the space to kind of breathe and to see it all. From a selfish perspective, you <laughs> yeah. do have space to look around and... Yeah. And they're such tiny and, streets, uh, it's a good thing, they're fairly empty. Imagine in the summertime, in the normal year, in a non-Covid year, yeah. it's probably pretty, pretty jammed in these little streets. And we've arrived in Thera just in time for sunset. Such a beautiful time of day, great light. Probably got about half an hour until the sun goes down. So we're gonna find somewhere to sit and watch it set. So we've arrived in Thera, the main town in Santorini. And it looks like this is the uh, very calm side of Thera, the side that faces the caldera. A lot of people gather here at this time of day to watch the sunset. You can go down into the town, which is a bit more hustly and bustly. There's a main pedestrianized street with all the amenities that you could need. So Beautiful. we're gonna take a little wander down there and have a look. Just enjoying the beautiful view. There's a cafe and apartments down there. You just wouldn't expect that to be winding down there. I just thought it was just what you see here. It definitely feels the place to be at twilight. What a beautiful sunset. Seriously, Santorini is the place for sunsets. Yeah. <laughs> it where feels else? like the sunset capital of the world. Yeah, where else can you sit there on the edge of a, of a volcano effectively, <laughs> <laughs> overlooking the sea and the rest of the volcano and see the sunset? Absolutely just, outrageous. Yeah. It is beautiful. But the sun does go down pretty quick this time of year and then it gets chilly, so <laughs> time for a jacket. <laughs> but we're heading into the center of Thera now I'm gonna go and get some food and check it out. It smells so lovely here. I just need to point that out. It just smells so nice. I keep getting like fragrances of sweet smells, not cooking smells, like actual scents. Oh, there's a dog in the way. <laughs> just got cut up by a dog. <laughs> yeah, we're just walking through a shopping area called Fabrica. But yeah, this is the main center of Thera and the pedestrian part of Thera is right in front of us. Wow. There's lots of restaurants and places to grab food and drink. for food. <laughs> so hungry now. All that coffee today is, don't know about you, but catching up on me.
see that. It's about nine euros for a pizza. It's called Diverse Cafe. I'm so excited for this pizza. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I've got a ham and bacon and pepper and mushroom pizza. It looks fantastic. And wifey has... And I've got a Greek pizza with a really fancy bottle of water. <laughs> vegetarian. Yeah, it's vegetarian, obviously. <laughs> That's a given. <laughs> That was a fantastic dinner, just what the doctor ordered. And we got leftovers. Pizza was delicious. <laughs> I feel so much better now. We're just walking through the narrow little streets of Thera. It's really beautiful. So much to see here. Even at night time, it's all lit up, so it's still really nice just to wander around, look in some of the shops. Although during COVID, we're going to try and not do that. But it's still pretty just to have a look from the outside. And all the whitewashed buildings beautifully lit up yeah, and so the cool contrasting there. blue but we <laughs> hope you've enjoyed seeing this part of Santorini thank you so much for watching we really appreciate it and if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell it all means so much to us if you do all of those things it really helps our channel drop us a comment below with your best recommendations in Greece or have you ever been to Santorini what are your thoughts yeah any opinions Thank you so much and we'll see you again. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Join us next time as we take a boat across the caldera and set foot on an active volcano. We take a dip in a hot spring and visit the island of Thrasia for some lunch before taking on the many steps back up to Vera. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at Tide Not Travelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. town that we're staying in and oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part of vlogging that I really yeah. hate. Literally makes me feel sick when he does this. <laughs> oh, you want me to do something? Yeah, go on. Oh. So much to see here. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, even at night time.